Hello and welcome to uh, the next part in your uh, InDesign tutorial on we're working on our cover duplication project. I think what we're going to do in this lesson we're going to focus in on this top uh, bar here. We're going to put this together and try and make that look as close as we can to the original. Um, this is actually in a separate layer. If I put this back, I'm going to get rid of that stuff and just put this stuff back so everything goes to where it's supposed to. And what I've gone ahead and done ahead of time, let's take a look at our this box that we're going to do. I have already uh, gone into Photoshop and I have these Sports Illustrated logo. It's hard to see because it's white. As well, it's hard to see because it's white, the CBS News logo. I just went to uh, Google Images and got them. I knocked out the background and I saved them as Photoshop files. The Photoshop files, if you just go in, it, you probably, they're probably going to download like a PNG or a JPEG of them. If you just save it down as a Photoshop file, then, and just that's the top one, okay, um, then uh, all this uh, transparency will all get preserved. It's, it's so handy and it's my preferred way of working. Uh, let's actually, uh, let's go into the um, uh, our layers here. I was just there. And let's make another new layer and we're going to call this uh, top uh, banner. Okay, it looks like a top banner. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make our background. Let's, uh, I'm going to make this box in behind. Now you'll notice this box, and it's going to be kind of low res here because it's just a picture off the internet. Um, it's got a uh, it's got a bit of a border. It's got a black border, then a white border, then our box. Now you would think, oh, okay, well I got to make a, a box and then a white box and a black box. But no, that's not really the case. Uh, what we can do is just make one box. Well, it's actually going to be two boxes by the time it's. But I'll I'll explain. Um, let's make a uh, let's make a box here. There we go, and we're working on our top banner and I'm going to just make a box, okay? And just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to make the middle of it uh, with a fill of nothing. I'm getting rid of the fill color and I'm only working with the stroke color for right now. The stroke is the outline. Uh, let's, so this is my fill color, this is, uh, this is my stroke color. I can see that here. It also is here. It's in a bunch of different spots. Here's my, if I go to color, there's the fill color, stroke color and stroke properties. So let's just go, I'm going to work using this and I'm going to go, uh, my fill color is going to be none. And it's none. And it already has a stroke, a outline of one point. So I can make that bigger. I can make that thinner. Okay, now you might think, oh, okay, let's just do that. And then we'll make the fill white and I'll just do another box in, in behind. Yes, I could. Yes, I could. Uh, but I wouldn't be able to get to show you this stuff. Uh, what you can do, if I go into the stroke properties here, the stroke properties, if I, and then you've got uh, different types. And if I go into here, you've got all these different types of uh, outlines. So like say dotted, makes the outline dotted. You can, uh, whatever that is. Uh, dashed is always handy if you wanted to like a coupon in a flyer. That's a bit of a go-to and then you put like the little scissors in there. Um, and then, but what we want to do here is maybe the thick and thick, two thick lines here. It looks kind of like that. And so let's just make those thicker till it starts to look like this. Um, maybe I'll just change the color really quick to something like that. And so that way uh, when I put that over top, There we go. Um, we can start to, well, that looks actually pretty close. Maybe one more. Uh, 11, maybe another, okay, that's good. Okay, so we've got that. Now, it's not going to be perfect, uh, but let's make that there. And uh, then, actually, if I do, I, I, I can't, I can't not make it make it perfect okay it's a problem that I have there we go that's it oops there we 
we go. Okay, so not bad. Uh, and then let's just back up, and I'm just going to stretch it out the uh, the length of it, and we'll make it black. Okay. So it is going to be black. It's and then we see that the corner of it is still up here. And so let's go ahead and uh, we will make it black. So our outline is going to be black. And then we're going to uh, give it a uh, fill of black as well. So if I hide my background now and I give it a fill of black, then we've got that. Okay. And so we're all set except for one problem. Um, if you happen to notice that the background, uh, the outline is actually white. So what you got to do, it's a bit of a uh, workaround. Um, I'm actually just going to, I do have to do another box. I'm just going to do another box right there, okay, kind of in behind. It's going to have no uh, stroke properties at all. going to make, make my stroke none. And then I'm going to make that box just white. And then let's just back up. There we go. By the way, if you ever see me move my page over, um, I'm holding down the space bar and it goes to a hand and then I can just drag that. That's just a handy way of uh, navigating around without having to change any of the menu options here. Um, okay, and then if I send that to the back, arrange, send to back, and it just sends to the back of that layer. And so now we see that it's got like a nice white stroke. So. That's nice. All right, so let's, um, I'm going to log this so I don't, there we go. Uh, let's move that out of the way for now, and then we're going to work on this stuff. Uh, let's insert our logos, um, file in place. But you notice the quick key is control D, and going to go get the uh, CBS logo, which is huge. Let's just uh, scale that down. All right, and then just use uh, just use the free transform tool here, and we're just going to scale that down. Now I see that theirs is maybe a little bit more condensed, so maybe we'll just condense ours to match. Uh, nudging it with the arrow tools, and and then rather than grabbing a corner, I'm just going to grab the end here, and then like to the point where it's perfect. And then Sports Illustrated uh, logo, uh, Control D, rather than going File in Place. And Sports Illustrated logo white. It's the Photoshop version that I saved down. And that'll be huge. Uh, so let's just bring that down in size. All right. And then uh, let's just use the Free Transform tool and nudging that over. So I can't. Um, I can't make these uh, a different color right now. Not bad. Okay. Let's work on this. Now, I don't have the exact font, uh, but I have something close. I think Gil Sands Condense is going to be kind of close. I'm, I'm guessing I haven't tried it ahead of time but I think that I'm going to be uh, pretty close. So if I, I'm going to click on my type tool, go and make a text box, and let's in all caps, uh, special report, colon, gangs, and sports. All right. So let's go. Oh, great, another announcement. I think, Gil, now if I know the font that I want, um, I, I can just start typing. Gil, and here's all the Gil uh, options for me. And I thought this one might be pretty good. Condensed bold. I think I'm going to run with this one. Um, and then actually, let's just make it a weird color that will stand out while I'm manipulating it. So let's just make it bigger. Pretty close, actually. I'm pretty impressed with how close, you, almost, almost like I knew what I was doing but I wouldn't want to uh, go that far. Um, okay, so then uh, let's stretch that type. Um, if I just have my move tool, I'm just changing the size of the uh, text box. 
Um, but if I had the free transform tool, I could stretch out the, uh, the type. Or I could, um, I could use these attributes up here. This is like a type stretch tool. It's a horizontal stretch tool. And if I bump that up, it's at 101 because I've already kind of messed with it. And yeah, why are those? Oh, because those are smaller. That's why. Okay, so the special report fits. And so now, why is that? Why is that so different, gangs? They really special. Oh, special report is bigger, and this is like thinner. Okay, all right. Well, we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, let's uh, condense that one up. That's kind of weird. All right. So ours is the same now. And then let's uh, do that bottom there. I'm gonna do it in the same text box because that's one of the reasons why I wanted to show you using the numbers up here, uh, because I can now in the same text box. Uh, use this. So let's go uh, by uh, Jeff Benedict and Armin. And, okay, I'm sure those guys won't mind. Uh, I got this cover off the internet, so I'm sure they don't mind if I'm using their name for this tutorial. Uh, this font is obviously different. Let's go to um, something that might look maybe just uh, look like a, let's let's go pick something quick actually I'm gonna just use the same one and just just for the sake of time however I am expecting you I uh, no, I can't do it I can't do it I was just gonna blow it off uh, and say no I want you to do a better job but then that's not who I am uh, okay, so let's, we've got a few things to adjust here. Let's make our type size smaller. Let's make our letting, which is this one right here. Our letting is going to be, uh, there we go. Uh, that's the line spacing there. Um, looks like, and I'm going to zoom in just to have a better look here. Um, looks like my type needs to be more condensed. Okay. Let's just, uh, yeah, it does. Uh, oddly enough, same thing in everything. Uh, if I double click, it selects a word. Triple click, selects a whole paragraph. All right. And we're going to condense that down because this is condensed there. All right. Not bad. So I've got this banner. I'm not going to worry about this magazine for right now. Uh, now, this is interesting, this little bracket. I think what they did is they, that's actually a font of a bracket. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I think I could draw it out, but I think that's what it is. So it's just a uh, bracket that looks like that. And I'm going to use, uh, we're going to, uh, because it's red, actually let's just make it white right now because that'll stand out. So we're just going to make my white. And it's not going to be quite the same, but we're going to run with it. Uh, let's make that bigger. And right there. Oh, we still got a ways to make it bigger. Uh, let's go ahead and make it 50. I want too much. 45. Not bad. Okay. Uh, let's make that more condensed. I'm going to use the numbers. I could, like I said, I could use the free transform tool, but I'm. Uh, that, then I wouldn't be teaching you anything. Uh, let's change the color to red. Okay, and now all this type, uh, I could Control A is the quick key for select all. Control A. Let's and we're going to make all that type white. And then now, let's go zoom back, and we're going to move this guy back into place. All right, so that kind of goes into here. Okay, so now uh, let's let's look at all our layers. 
Oh, uh, this is at the this is at the um, uh, underneath. I got to move that layer on top. Not bad. Looking pretty good so far. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, that's good for today's lesson. Um, good luck with your assignment. I hope it's going well.